Hi everyone, my name is Leonie and I'm a master's student at LTU. I'm here at the space campus in Kiruna, which is in the far north of Sweden above the polar circle. Here I'm studying space science and technology, and today I will give you a small tour of our campus and show you a little bit of Kiruna. This is the main hall of our campus, where you can see a rocket which was launched with experiments developed by students here in Kiruna. Most of the students here are involved in various space projects in their free time. Some are currently developing a CubeSat, a miniature based satellite for space research, while others are developing an experiment for a soundwave rocket or are aiming to build themselves a rocket. Welcome to the NanoSat lab. Um, actually, this is one of the several labs that you can find at LTU in Kiruna. Uh, we have this NanoSat lab, we have the asteroid lab, we have uh, like project lab, we have labs for taking courses like electronics lab, computer lab, etc. We have facilities such as um, CNC machine, other workshops, or electronics assembly. Uh, facilities like PCB assembly line. What else? Well, we have robotic manipulators and, uh, well, even a shaker. And uh, we will soon have even uh, um, like vacuum chambers for performing these uh, TVAC uh, experiments or TVAC tests uh, for, for CubeSats. So this is the frictionless um, platform that we have at the moment here in the NanoSat lab. Basically how this uh, machine works is like we have compressed air stored in the tanks. This uh, compressed air pushes along these or pushes on these air bearings creating a thin layer of air, so like an air cushion between the surface of these platforms and the table. We are now in uh, LTU's uh, clean room. In this clean room, we integrated uh, our first CubeSat that was launched in uh, 2017. And uh, basically, this is certified uh, as category 10,000. This is a 10,000 clean room. Okay, so the final purpose of the lab, of the NanoSat lab, is operation. So we move from design, uh, testing, or manufacturing, uh, also assembly integration. So the final one is operations. And for that we have the well, this ground station. Now, uh, currently in the under construction asteroid lab. So the main experiment that will be conducted in this asteroid lab would be uh, experiments of um, how the, the material of an asteroid will be composed under the effect of very high thermal radiation coming from the sun. I come from France, Peru, Spain, India, Thailand, Germany, Sweden. 
the intersection of the expertise relating to the mine in Kiruna and the space research here in the campus makes it an interesting place to think about space mining. Because of its unique location in the Arctic and its extreme nature. Because of the great mix between science and engineering focused on space. Two reasons. One, I get to experience auroras and the other, I get a lot of contacts in the space industry. Space and it's very dark up here. Directly next to LTU Space Campus is IOF, the Swedish Institute for Space Physics. LTU and IOF have very tight collaborations, so let's see what IOF does. IRF, the Swedish Institute of Space Physics, has basically three main uh, areas. Uh, research in space plasma physics, uh, research and, and development in um, space technology, and then we also look at um, polar atmospheric physics. RAF participates in several international satellite projects and has spacecraft instruments almost all over our solar system. Currently, the biggest project they are working on is an instrument which is going to Jupiter in 2022. RAF has gathered extensive experience over the years and many of the things they have built are spread all over the site, so our students can learn and get inspired by them. IRF was established in 1957 and uh, our observatory activities have been going on since even before that. There were um, measurements done here in the Kiruna area in the 40s and 50s that we took over. So um, we have this old all-sky camera here in our observatory museum and uh, old magnetometers and old uh, ionosond. One of the reasons IRF is located here, above the polar circle and surrounded by trees, is the presence of unique polar atmospheric phenomena and conditions. Being surrounded by such breathtaking nature makes studying here even more exciting. LTU has also collaborations with ISCATS Institute in Kiruna. It is very close to the space campus, so let's visit it together. This is ISCAT, one of the receiver stations for the European Incoherent Scatter Radar, which is a misnomer these days because we are truly an international organization with members from China and Japan, two of the Scandinavian countries. And the idea of an incoherent scatter radar is to get a cross section of the ionosphere to tell what the interaction between space and Earth is doing at the moment. So the reason for being here in Kiruna is because the aurora borealis or northern lights affect the atmosphere here and create phenomena in the ionosphere. radars will look something like this. There are already a few of these new so-called phased array radar systems in the world. I'm here on top of Lusavara, the mountain right next to Kiruna. As you can see, this is also a skiing hill, so us students like to go here after the lectures or on the weekend. From up here, you can also see the town Kiruna quite well. This is Europe's biggest iron ore mine and also the reason why Kiruna has to move. Due to the mine's activities coming closer and closer to the city,
Kiruna city center is slowly moving three kilometers to the east.